Students from the 2021 ANU Master of Applied Cybernetics have been working in three groups to develop a cyber physical system prototype and explore its potential to scale in the world. Here we present an overview of their work. On the theme of environment and energy, Chloe Scafti, Jake Blight and Matt Heffernan. There are more than 39,000 kilometres of high-pressure gas transmission pipelines running across all of Australia. This impacts everyone from farmers, Indigenous people and other landowners. Methane makes up a large proportion of natural gas and is about 30 times more potent than carbon dioxide, making gas leaks a potentially significant contributor to Australia's overall greenhouse emissions while also increasing the risk for catastrophic economic and environmental damage. Current methods to locate gas leaks have encompassed various technologies, including the training and use of gas leak search dogs. However, these methods are hindered by costs, skills and accessibility. This is where the Gas Leak Underground Rover, or affectionately called GLUG, enters, a low-cost modular rover that enables landowners and community members to easily assemble it and deploy on gas pipelines that may run through their land. It features a line sensor as a proxy for a metal detector and a gas detection sensor, which is all connected to a Raspberry Pi. And this is all housed in a recyclable aluminium chassis, a rechargeable battery pack and LEDs to notify the user if any leaks have been detected. Another benefit of the GLUG is that it gives rural and remote schools and communities the opportunity to learn STEM skills through the process of the rover's assembly and deployment. The GLUG's individual components can also be modified to suit different terrains and circumstances. However, the modular build of the GLUG also means that individual parts can also be repurposed. A roadmap for consultation with Indigenous communities and other landholders was identified as the next phase in taking this project to scale. From everyone here at the Glug Build Team, we'd like to thank you for your time. On the theme of health and well-being, Erica Lee, James Liu, Sarah O'Connor and Kate Tolliner.
on the theme of critical infrastructure. Adrian Melillo, Myrna Kennedy and Julian Vito. When the first mobile phone was sold in 1983, it was thought only 1 million would ever be manufactured. There are now more than 50 billion globally. Think about all the other tech we make, buy and bin. Most goes to landfill. We call it e-waste. Yet it contains valuable materials we can reuse, including gold, platinum, aluminium, copper and rare earth elements. With our current approach to e-waste, we're sending $10 billion worth of resources to the tip each year. In Australia, tech manufacturers are required to fund free and accessible e-waste collection. So why isn't it working? The reasons people don't recycle their e-waste are actually pretty simple. 83% of people don't know where to take their e-waste and 60% didn't know it was possible. We need critical infrastructure to shift e-waste from people's homes to recycling facilities to recover the valuable resources contained in e-waste and repurpose them for new technologies. Applied Cybernetics gives us the tools to design AI-enabled critical infrastructure to build an e-waste recycling system that actually works. And it all starts with the point of collection. Introducing SMARC, the Smart Autonomous Recycling Cradle. Got a collection of e-waste you need to get rid of? Log onto our website and book yourself a SMARC for same-day delivery to your home. Scan and deposit the e-waste into the SMARC and collect your payment. When you're all done, hit the request collection button and our collection partners will be right over to take your e-waste to be recycled. Through convenience, SMARC unlocks e-waste recycling for the consumer. SMARC is an integrated cyber physical system designed to unlock the challenges of e-waste collection for the benefit of downstream processes. Our collection API optimizes our partners' collection routes and timing, while our data API allows recyclers to know the mass and quality of e-waste across the network, ensuring efficient processing. This constant flow and exchange of SMART data optimizes the entire e-waste network. SMART exemplifies the strides we can take to address the most pressing environmental threats of our time. Using applied cybernetic thinking, technology can only do so much. We need stronger systems to ensure no e-waste ends up in landfill, commencing with a regulatory mandate that all e-waste needs to be recycled.